is gone from my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a calm in my way one of Hollywood's most successful filmmakers has died. Harold Ramis starred in several comedy classics. He also wrote and directed some of Hollywood's funniest films. But he got his start with SCTV. And as Francis Silvaggio reports, Ramis collaborated with so many Canadians, he had a special connection with his country. Hi, Whitey. Oh, hi, Beaver. He's a Canadian icon who actually isn't even Canadian. Harold Ramis was born in Chicago, but his career came to life on Canada's SCTV. Beaver, no one would have to know that you did it. I think this building should be condemned. The rest of the world knows Ramis best as Dr. Egon Spengler from the comedy blockbuster Ghostbuster, a movie he not only starred in, but co-wrote with his co-star, Dan Aykroyd. Wow, this place is great. In a statement, Aykroyd says he was deeply saddened to hear of the passing of my brilliant, gifted, funny friend, co-writer, performer, and teacher, Harold Ramis. May he now get the answers he was always seeking. I can't believe we're doing this. Ramis may be best publicly recognized for his on-screen work, but he was also one of the quiet, creative geniuses behind such comedy classics as Animal House and Caddyshack. Don't sell yourself short, Judge. You're a tremendous slouch. When I turn in a script, I'm not even sure if it's professional. I mean, I'm, I'm afraid people are going to read it and go, geez, well, you know, what makes this guy think he can write? This is so amateur. For today's grim adventure, we have a bit of a rainy day here in Chicago. We had a whole bunch of things planned, outdoor stuff. But today, we're gonna do something I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and that's visit the final resting place of a childhood hero of mine, as well as a lot of other people. Especially if you're a fan of the movie Ghostbusters. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. Why? It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good, bad thing. What do you mean bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. Okay. All right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. Now, you can probably imagine how hard it is to film in the rain. Earlier, it was pouring down rain, so this is, this is kind of nice. I mean, we're just walking through the cemetery with an umbrella. It's peaceful. Now, trying to cover Harold Ramis's life is kind of impossible. He had his hand pretty much in every comedy that you can think of. Of course, Egon from Ghostbusters. He was in Stripes. He was friends as well as business associates with people like Dan Aykroyd and Belushi, Gilda Radner, Bill Murray, the Ghostbusters, man. Grew up watching the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. Whenever Ghostbusters Afterlife came out, I was really wondering how they were going to portray Egon. And I think how they did it it was very heartfelt to all the fans. I cried whenever I saw it. 43 years old. I cried in the movie theater whenever Egon's ghost came on screen. Hey, baby girl. I don't know if you know this, but Harold Ramis wasn't just an actor. He was a writer, he was a director, he was a creative force. Yeah. Uh, the movie Knocked Up, Caddyshack, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> all can be accredited to him in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Do you have, a, a favorite scene or a favorite movie with uh, Harold Ramis? Not so much a favorite movie or a favorite scene, but what's already always stood in my memory of him is that little smile that he gets, that like one-cheeked grin, that sly smile, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it, but like there's so much personality just behind that smile. You know, it's been a couple years since we used this stuff. I hope it still works. It should. Power cells have a half-life of 5,000 years. Do Ray Egon! Yeah. You know, it's, it's, funny. it's funny 
that when you think of Harold Ramis, whenever I think of Harold Ramis, the one character that comes to mind is Egon. Egon. And I, 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 I can Stripes for me. Right, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously Ghostbusters, but I think I saw him first in Stripes, and it's always like, oh, hey, I know that guy from that one movie. Now he's in this big thing. That's awesome. And, uh... But it's funny you say that, the smile, because, yeah. you know, he's been in so many things, and I picture that little smile, that little smirk over his glasses with his floppy yes. hair. But at the same time, like thinking about it and looking at you right now, you really remind me of him. I think no. you kind of, you look like him. You sometimes get the same smirk and you, you're tall, skinny with glasses. You guys resemble each other. Do you guys agree? I feel very honored. I don't see it, but I thank do. you. In case you didn't know this, Memorial Parks, all the tombstones are pretty much laid down in the ground facing up. There's nothing really vertical. So it's a good thing that we stopped in and talked to the office. They said that he was in the very back of the cemetery. I'm talking like the furthest point of the cemetery in section 14. But there he is. I know it probably looks like we're dressed like Ghostface from the movie Scream. I assure you we're not. But this is just blowing my mind. Harold Allen Ramis. Son, brother, husband, father, friend, teacher, student. Creative force, generous spirit, and lover of life and loved by all. November 21st, 1944. Passed away February 24th. 2014 at the age of 69 but it also feels just like a movie whenever you see very sad funeral scenes for a beloved character it's always raining it's always overcast and I always took that to be symbolic to the tears and the sadness and it it hits home it does I'm worried, Ray. It's getting crowded in there, and all my recent data points to something big on the horizon. What do you mean, the big? Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning's sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. Now, I didn't know this until we started doing research, but Harold Ramis suffered from a disease called autoimmune inflammatory vasculitis. It's a mouthful, I know, but basically it affected his ability to walk. And sadly, he had to learn to rewalk again, and then it came back, and he died on February 24th, 2014 from complications from that disease. Like I said, at the age of 69. Now, I know, we all get older. You know, I remember the first time I saw Ghostbusters and, you know, Harold Ramis passed in 2014 and relatively recently, not too long ago, Ivan Reitman, the guy who directed it, uh, he passed too. And Bill Murray and Ernie Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Dan Aykroyd, Rick Moranis, they're all getting up there. At some point, everybody's going to pass, including you and me. But it's crazy how, how much movies like Ghostbusters and, and Stripes withstands the test of time. And I think there's a very good reason for it. Now, um, not you know, like I said, Harold Ramis, he was a writer as well. And... He would write those kind of movies, or he was always involved with those, those movies where not only were they funny, but they just kind of had this, they had a message behind them. I mean, maybe I'm wrong in thinking that, but I, I think that's why, to this day, people still love Ghostbusters. And I keep saying Ghostbusters, I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, I'm not going to deny it. This is a Ghostbusters video to me. But Harold Ramis probably touched you in some shape or form differently, like stripes or uh, <laughs> you just never know do you have any hobbies i collect spores molds and fungus typically when it comes to a memorial cemetery you don't really have any statues or buildings 
anything that's not flat. Occasionally you come across it. I saw this while we were driving in. I wanted to come take a look at it. There's something a little bit different, some art up there, some tile pieces it looks like. But again, you know how I love lines and design and architecture. Just walking up this sidewalk is very calming and soothing for me. The sound of the rain on the umbrella. Now we had a lot of things planned. We got rained out. It's going to be raining for the next couple days and we're going further north, which means it's going to be snowing. So we're kind of bummed out that we're going to be missing some pretty amazing stuff here in Chicago, but I promise you, we're going to be coming back. Our plan, well, we've decided recently, I mean, things change quite a bit, but our plan is to probably come back up in the spring whenever the sun, uh, you know, whenever the rain isn't so much, hopefully. And uh, spend a, probably like a good week or two here filming so much that we want to do. Like as, if you watched a previous video, we've only been in town for like two days before we have to hit the road. So just kind of had to pick and choose what we wanted to do. And Harold Ramis, the grave of Harold Ramis is a, it's high on my list. And what I'm looking at here is these tile pieces of art. Looks like there's a deer over here or something. Then over on this other side, there's a tree. Let's go take a look at it. There's a lot of tile work in Chicago, I've noticed. Oddly, there's not much when it comes to street art or graffiti, but there's tile work, tile art pieces pretty much all over town. At first, I thought this was a Halloween cat, but no, it's a, I guess it's a coyote or some sort of wolf. The wind is really starting to pick up now. Well, obviously, it's some sort of symbolism. But they are nice, that's for sure. With that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure. This time, to the final resting place, the grave of Harold Ramis. From so many movies. I guess technically this is not really Chicago. It's, it's considered Arlington Heights, I do believe. Small cemetery, small Jewish cemetery, on a rainy day. Until next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I'm in love. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is dead in state. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always